Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new question in string. So basically we are given a string, we need to find the frequency of every word in the string, right? So question is uh, quite understandable, quite easy to understand. So if you see that here we have this string, the string is best items in category are Samsung, Lenovo. Samsung items are cool, Lenovo are cool, right? So in this case if you see uh, that here basically we need to find the frequency of every word. So the first variation of this question is that whenever we are giving the frequency, it can be in any order, right? So the words, so the words can be in any order. Now, if you see, like the best has occurred one time, R has occurred three times, if you see, one, two, and three times. Items has occurred two times, uh, here if you see items, Samsung has also occurred two times, this Samsung, Samsung, Lenovo has occurred two times, this Lenovo, Lenovo. In has occurred one times, cool has occurred two times, this one, this two. So basically this has occurred two times, right? And then category has occurred one time. So first case is that our word can be in any order. This is the first variation, right? Like you can see best has occurred first, then R3, then keep on going on. The second variation can be that we want to print this order because anyhow at the last we'll print the order, right? We'll print the words in their order. So the first case can be, it can be in any order. Now the second case is that the word should be printed based on the frequency manner, right? So it means uh, basically we can say decreasing frequency wise, decreasing frequency wise. So if it is the case, in this case what would happen? First of all, this R will be printed because it has the most frequency, right? So this will be the first case. Then this item Samsung, Lenovo and these will be printed and then the frequency with the one will be printed like this best and in and category, right? So this will be the second variation. Then the third variation will see when the f these words should be printed alphabetically, right? So these will be alphabetically. So this is again the another variation that we can have. Alphabetically means that uh, first of all the words which will A like first it will be a and then now we'll ignore the cases whether it is lower case or upper case the word is word right so what we'll do we'll basically convert everything in the lower case and then we'll take this so first alphabetically it will print a then it will print b then it will print uh, as per the alphabetically right so this can be the third variation the fourth variation is that let's say first of all we'll say decreasing the frequency basis decreasing the frequency basis but let's say if your frequency is same, like if you see, like Samsung, Lenovo, the school and the items, these are the same frequency. So when it is the case, then it should print alphabetically, alphabetically. So it can be the fourth case, right? So this is very important question. And because here we are covering all the four cases, right? So let's see if one by one and then we'll cover that how we'll proceed with the each cases, right? So how we'll do the solution? So the first thing that we'll do is that here is my string, right? And our aim is that we want to get the frequency of every word. So what we'll do that if you see that here we have some uh, other apart than alphanumeric, alphanumericals values are which are basically a to a, a to z, a to capital Z and 0 to 9. So we say these are the alphanumeric, alphanumeric, alpha means alphabet and numeric means they are numerical value as well. So if these, if the values are apart than this one, we'll basically convert them into space. Like if you see this comma, this dot, this dot. So we, we can basically, these are not usual for us, right? So we can convert all these values with the simple space, right? So once we have converted all these values to space, now the, all the, all the values remain is the word with the alphanumeric. So this will be the first thing that we'll do, right? So it means if I write here, so I will say, the first point I, I will do is convert convert in alphanumeric convert alf in av alphanumeric everything so how we'll do it we'll basically convert apart than these values into spaces right the second thing is that if you want to get the frequency then we should basically split these values because current now they all will all values are separated by the space so now we'll we'll split this string into split array using the space so what will happen that it will be this is a complete string so after splitting then it will convert into a string array right so uh, the second point is split into a string array a string array 
right so how we can convert these values into string array by parameter so here our parameter is space so what would happen that after string array this will be the one string then another string so basically it will convert into different array strings right so now we have got the array string array now what we'll do that once we have got the array now one by well i will iterate on each word of a string and i will i will basically keep on increasing and now i will take a map right so it means put values into map put value into uh, i will say this is counting map because it is basically taking the frequency so it's a frequency map for counting so what will happen my map my map will be of the type string and integer so string will be the key key is the key is the word right like what is a word is and the string is frequency like what is a frequency so what will happen i will iterate one by one on e on every word and then let's say if this value has occurred first first time in the map so i'll put the frequency as 1 now let's say if this value already present in the map it means the value is already there it means this is a repeating value so i will get the frequency that whatever the existing value is and then i will increase by plus 1 right so what will happen that at the last it will give me the frequency of every word right so for the for the random order this is a these are the all the things that i will do right so let me show you through code so that uh, you can know how we are doing this so like uh, this is my uh, this is my string my strings are best item in category are samsung lenovo samsung items are nice and lenovo are cool right and then i am calling the function most frequent when i am passing the string now as you said that will do it in three part the first part is that whatever the values are apart than the alpha numeric just convert this into space right so this is what we are doing we are saying that we have function here str dot replace all it means replace all with each character of this value by a space so it what it will do this is basically alpha numeric and this is not alpha numeric right so we are saying that in this string wherever you have wherever you have the values wherever you have characters apart than this alpha numeric just convert them into space right so once we so let me put debug point as well so that i can show you one by one that how it is happening so let me go here now if you see what is my string string is this one best items in category are samsung lenovo then we have dot then samsung items are nice then dot then the lower cool now after doing this one let's see the string now you can see that all the dots has been replaced by a space like here it was dot uh, like samsung lenovo and samsung items are nice so you can see the dots and the question uh, and the comma has been converted into space right now i have this string now i will split this string into string array and using the space now if you see here that we can have one space or we can have more than one space like if you see here we have one space but here we have two space because what happened that when we converted the comma and the dot to space so now it also converted to space right and earlier also we have one space so it means now we have two space so now we'll split this values into the one space or more than one space so now after doing this one you can see that the all words so now it has converted the all the values into string array and now you can see that uh, it has converted into strings array with the all the string words so here we have best items in and then right now if you see that now we have got the words now we want to get the frequency of every word so what we will do we'll basically create a map here the map will be of string and integer a string will be the word and integer will be the frequency now how we'll get the frequency so for that we are basically iterating on every word of the string and then we are converting this into the lower case because we are saying that we are ignoring the case right then we are putting then this is a this is a map now we want to put every map because we know that every word is a unique word right so in the map what happens that basically it will contain the unique words now we want to get the frequency of the unique words so what if what we are doing we are basically saying that counting map dot put word this is a key now this will be the value right so what will the value so we are saying that if this is a first time let's say if the value if this word doesn't exist in the map so it means then assume the frequency is zero for this case and then increase a plus one so it means if this if this value is occurring the first time in the array then in this case the frequency will be the one and let's say if the frequency is already there if this word is already present in the map 
so what it will do it will basically get the default value it will get the value of this of this word in the map and then so it will basically get the it will basically give us the frequency and then we'll add the plus one right so in this case what will happen that using this one so what what it does this get or default function says that return the value to which the specified value is mapped or default value of the map contain no mapping for the key so this is a default value we are setting uh, that if the value doesn't exist in the map this will be the default value zero and if the value exists in the map so get the frequency and then increase the frequency by plus one right so what will happen using this one we are basically updating the frequency of every word one by one right so we'll do it for every word so we are operating on every word and once we are done with every word so now you can see this is the counting map so now samsung has occurred two times in has occurred one times r has occurred three times cool has occurred one time space occurred one time and so on right now you see this is in this is not in order this is in random order right so if we return this one so you can see that it will print in random order right so this is the basic point that we have done that we have printed the frequency we have written the frequency of every word in the given string and these are in any random order right now our second point is that we want to get depending on the freak on the frequency wise so now you see that the r has occurred three times so it means it should be the first occurrence right like if you see the here in this case the r is occurred three times so this should be the first value then uh, the samsung items will know then other values right so for that what we do what we can do that we'll take another tree map and as we know that tree map basically sort the values by default on basis on the key so we are initializing a tree map here which is the most frequent map we are saying and this in this tree map we are basically defining the template it what will be the template of of this one so by default tree map basically sort based on the based on the key value right right now my key is word but right but i don't want to sort based on the key i want to sort based on the frequency right so what is happen for this case so let's say these are the two words for this one so first of all we get the frequency that what is the frequency of each word so this counting map contains the frequency of every word so from here we are getting that counting map dot get frequency of this word then frequency of this one now we are saying that let's say frequency is not same so if frequency is not same in this case return based on the higher frequency based on the it means return the value with have the higher frequency first so that's why we are return frequency to minus frequency one let's say if you want to have the increasing frequency so in this case it would say frequency one minus frequency two right now because these are the this is basically we are handling and this is we are saying that arrange based on the decreasing frequency but there will be some item which will have the same frequency so we need to also mention that how we want to arrange them right which have the same frequency like if you see like here we have the items uh, like it, like the samsung which have two frequency items has also two frequency lenovo has also two frequency so we are saying that let's say frequency is same so if frequency is same then arrange them based on their alphabetically so here we are saying e1 dot compare to e2 right so this will basically make sure that they are arranged alphabetically and let's say if you want to make sure in the reverse alphabetically then i would say e2 dot compare to e1 right and then once we are done this one then we'll put whatever values we have of the counting map into first into this most frequent map so we'll do most frequent map dot put all counting map and at the last we'll return this most frequent map right so if you run the program this case now you can see that uh, first has a, uh, it has put r because this will have the highest frequency then it has put then this item lenovo samsung have the same frequency so now it is arranging based on the alphabetically like first i then l then samsung right and then again it has put all the values in the uh, of the one value and again in the alphabetically so this also covers our last case uh, this one as well that first of all it will put the decreasing frequency and then it will put alphabetically because the point is that we have put decreasing frequency but we cannot have this alone it says that if you have the same frequency then what it will do so if you have the same frequency then we need to also mention that arrange alphabetically let's say if you want to arrange reverse alphabetically so in this case you can see here that e1 uh, dot compare to e2 and now if you run this you can see that now first of all it will printing based on the frequency and after that for the same frequency it is printing reverse alphabetically right 
so this is you can see first s then l then i and here also n then i then c then c then b right so based on your requirement of the question we can basically manipulate this accordingly right now let's say if you want to arrange based on the alphabetically only so in this case what we need to do so if you want to arrange them alphabetically this is quite simple because we can take a simple tree map and tree map basically by default sort based on the key and what is the key here key here is a string which is a word so whenever we are putting any values it will automatically sort based on the key so if you run the program here you can see that first of all it has print based the a then b then c then c i i l n and s right so based on the alphabetically it has automatically sorted right so in this case it's quite simple just have this one then just assign the tree map and keep on printing the value in this tree map and it will arrange based on this one and at the last you can return this counting map right so these are the some of the ways so that uh, we have seen we have seen the random order if you see we have seen the decreasing frequency wise we have seen the alphabetically and we have seen the decreasing frequency plus alphabetically as well right and if you see the time complexity for this question so like overall it's uh, let's say if we have n words so for arranging the n words we are basically operating like if you see that here after splitting the words then basically we are one by one we are operating on every word and then we are basically putting into our map right so for n words if we have n words the time complexity will be big of n so time complexity will be big of n if we have n words these are n words and space complexity will be because we are taking the map so in worst case uh, each word can have the unique one so in this case also we can have big of n right for all the cases it is more or less equal to the uh, big of n time complexity as well as space complexity right so that's it guys for this video and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and we'll try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you